Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to load and unload filament on the FlashForge Finder 3D printer. I'll also be sharing some tips for how to maintain the quality of your filament between prints. First things first, what is 3D printer filament? Filament is the raw material 3D printers use to make objects. It's usually a plastic polymer material that becomes malleable when heated to a certain temperature. That's how the printer is able to use it to make different shapes. Filament is manufactured as a thin plastic thread that comes wound around a spool, like this. It comes in two standard diameters, 1.75 millimeters and 3 millimeters. This here is 1.75 millimeters, and it's the only type of filament that this printer will work with, so it's important to double check the size before you try and load it into the machine. Uh, filament also comes in many different material types. Now the most common material for consumer use is PLA or polylactic acid. PLA is biodegradable and very easy to work with, which is why it's the filament of choice for starter printers like the FlashForge Finder here. This machine is automatically configured to work with PLA basically right out of the box. Uh, now it can print a few other types of filament such as metal infused PLA and flexible TPU, but it does require some adjustments to the settings as well as some extra attention and care from you. All right, let's load some filament. So the first thing you want to do when loading new filament into your machine is actually take a look at the end of the filament. Now, if it's stringy or bumpy or just kind of messed up like this, what we're going to want to do is actually cut that part off. So you can use a pair of wire strippers to do this or a pair of micro cutters like these. Now that our filament is ready, we can go ahead and start the loading process. So we're going to come over to this LCD screen here and you should see three options. We're going to press tools, filament, and finally load. And what this is going to do, this is going to start heating up the printer. And the heat is necessary in order to melt the filament and uh, allow it to come out the other end of the extruder. Without that heat, the filament's not really going to go anywhere and it's just going to try and clog. So you can see on the screen the temperature is, is going up incrementally. We're looking for that to reach a temperature of 220 degrees Celsius, which is the standard temperature for extruding PLA filament. While you're waiting for the printer to heat, you should install your roll of filament on whatever spool holder you'll be using. Try to set it up so that the filament comes off the top of the roll and enters the extruder from the back or from the side rather than from the front. Unspool enough filament so that it can comfortably reach the hole on top of the extruder mechanism. This is where we'll be loading our filament in just a minute. And if your finder does have a black plastic tubing to run your filament through, uh, now would be the time to run your filament through it so that it's all set up for loading. Once the desired temperature is reached, insert the filament into the hole on top of the extruder and apply gentle, even downward pressure until you start to feel the gears inside the mechanism pulling the filament. Uh, and when that happens, the filament's going to start to move down on its own, so you can go ahead and let go. And what we want to do now is watch down here for when the filament starts to come out the extruder. And when it first starts to do this, it's going to be a mix of the filament that was in the machine previously and the new stuff. So we want to watch for when we start to see only the new color coming out of the machine. Uh, and once we see that happening, like we can see it's all green now, uh, I can come up here and hit done on the LCD screen. And then it's just a good idea to take some tweezers and remove the excess filament um, rather than letting it accumulate on either the nozzle or the bed. Now let's talk about unloading filament. There are several circumstances under which you might want to unload filament from your FlashForge Finder. The most obvious would be if you're trying to load new filament since you can't have more than one filament loaded at a time. However, you might also want to unload filament if you're not planning on using your 3D printer for a while. So 3D printer filament has a tendency to absorb moisture from the air, and this causes it to degrade over time, and that can lead to poor print quality and clogs in your machine. Now PLA is a little bit more forgiving than other filament types, it tends to degrade a little bit slower, but it's still not a good idea to leave it sitting out for days on end. 
So whenever you finish a round of prints or a project, it's a good idea to unload your filament and store it properly until next use. Last but not least, there are certain filament types that you want to unload immediately after printing. Uh, this is the case for things like metal infused PLA, which has a tendency to harden and clog the extruder if it's allowed to return to room temperature. So for any filaments like this, um, you're going to want to not only unload the filament after you're finished with it, but then actually take a regular PLA filament and use it to flush the extruder. So actually run it through until you see all traces of the previous filament are gone. Now to unload filament, we're going to return to the same menu as before, only this time we're going to select unload. And just like last time, we'll see it's going to start to preheat. And in the case of unloading filament, we don't actually have to wait for it to get quite up to temperature, but we do want to see it get past 100 degrees Celsius before we try and unload the filament. So once this has reached a sufficient temperature, I'm going to come in and press down on this little black tab on the side of this box here. And what that's going to do is actually release the gears inside the mechanism and make it easier to remove the filament. And then I'm going to, at the same time, gently pull upward. And that's it. Now, I like to let this run out for just a few more seconds uh, to give the filament a chance to clear out of the extruder. And I will once again just watch down below for the material coming out of the filament and remove any of the excess with tweezers. Last but not least, let's talk about how to properly store your filament. As I mentioned before, 3D printer filament absorbs moisture from the air, which causes it to degrade over time. This can lead to problems such as the filament breaking or bending when it comes off the spool, bubbling, cracking, or smoking when it enters the extruder, and ultimately, poor quality prints. It can be difficult to re-dry filament that's been damaged by moisture, so the best thing to do is to prevent it from getting wet in the first place. Now, there's lots of products out there to help you store your filament and keep it dry, uh, but a simple low-cost alternative is to store your filament in gallon size airtight plastic bags like this one uh, with one or two little desiccant packs inside. Now, most filaments when they ship come with a silica gel desiccant pack in the packaging, so you can actually just take that pack when you open your filament and transfer it right into the bag where you're going to be storing your filament. The one thing you want to make sure is that you keep that bag closed when the filament's not in there because the way these packs actually work is they absorb moisture from the immediate area and they'll stop working once they have absorbed their maximum capacity of moisture. It's a good idea to replace those desiccant packs every couple of months as well. Uh, since you're probably going to be getting into these bags pretty often, um, it's a good idea to reinforce the sides of the bags with duct tape, as I've done here. Now, if you are going to be 3D printing a lot, or maybe you live in a more humid climate, then it's worth considering investing in a uh, filament dry box or making a filament dry box that actually allows you to print while the filament is still in the container. Uh, so you can research more information about that on the internet. Uh, whatever storage system you're using, the most important thing is just being consistent about always putting the filament back in storage after you're done using it and making sure the other users in your space follow that same rule. So that's all the key things you need to know about 3D printer filament. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out our other content on 3D printing. This video was brought to you by Idaho STEM Action Center as part of the iSTEM Library's online database, a searchable catalog of STEM teaching tools available for checkout at locations across Idaho. You can browse available items in your area, as well as curriculum, how-to guides, videos, and more by visiting stem.idaho.gov i-stem-library or by contacting the library location nearest you.